So today we are going to demonstrate experiment on superconductor. So right now I have two pieces of superconductor. One is a commercial one over here. I will show you later. And the other one is actually synthesized by three of my students. It is a quite small one. Okay, just two, 0 0.2 gram. Now, before we start, we're going to start the experiment. We're going to pour some liquid nitrogen to cool down the temperature, so that make sure they are still superconductor. Okay, so we're going to pour the liquid nitrogen into the container over here. Let me introduce the magnet over here. So, this set of magnet, we are having North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, and South Pole. Okay, they're in an alternate position that it allows a changing magnetic field when I am putting the superconductor on it. Because if you're putting on top of the North Pole and the pole surrounding would be South Pole, then that's it, there will be a change in the magnetic field. But for this circular one, it is a complete north pole in the inner ring and complete south pole in the outer ring. That said, along this track, there is a constant magnetic field. There's no change in it and it allows it to move freely on it. And I have also have a mega track over here as well. So let's get started. I'm going to put this commercial superconductor onto this stack of magnet you can see is actually floating or rather it's levitating and if I'm going to push it okay push it you can see that when I just the position it will stay in whatever position it was okay it will stay it will stay or even if I'm going to tilt it 45 degree or 90 degree can you see or even if I invert it. It will still stay there because it is called the quantum locking effect. Can you see? All right, now, let me pull it on the constant magnetic field along the track and you are going to see that it can freely move. Okay, and if I'm going to demonstrate a mega scale put on this track and I'm going to push it you move along the track. Alright, now I want to show you this small one is a micro scale superconductor that this superconductor is actually synthesized by three of my students and what I'm going to do is to show you the Maxler effect as well. So I have a metal bar over here that if I am going to approach the superconductor it should be able to repel. Let's see where it repels. You can see, whoop, and it does repel. Okay, can you see it repel? And if I am going to put this small superconductor, which is a YBCO conductor, we call it yttrium barium copper oxide superconductor, onto the stack of magnet, you can see it is levitating. Can you see? Can you see? All right. And of course, the temperature has increased. So if we pull it back to the liquid nitrogen to cool down the temperature, and when it is cool enough, we are going to put this small one onto the stack of magnet. And you can see the superconductor is actually levitating. Aha! Before you leave, please stay here. Okay, I would like to introduce the microscale superconductor, how it was being synthesized. Now, actually, this is a YBCO type of conductor, which is made of yttrium barium copper oxide in a 1 to 2 to 3 to 7 ratio. Okay, and my student, three of my students, Ella Lai, Karis Wong, and Mercy Yan, what they did was that they used a hydraulic press to press it in a cylindrical shape. It is actually 0 0.2 gram, okay? And they put it in the oxygen atmosphere for 300 milliliters of oxygen to center it for 12 hours. Okay, and we'll take it out and it is a superconductor under very, very cold temperature. 
okay let's revise on what we have done okay put it in the liquid nitrogen to cool down the temperature and when it is cool enough okay what can we see is that when it is very very cold okay put it on the magnet you can see the levitating effect the quantum locking effect as well okay all right have a very nice day thank you bye bye